Washington Town Hall. We're here on the 7th of December, Thursday morning. We've been here every morning this week. People are getting to know us coming here. People are bringing their friends to be saved. They get saved one day, they bring their friends the next, their friends get saved. They are then safe in the hand of Jesus. And the people walking around me at the moment, the Bible describes you. It says, the path that leads to destruction is wide and there are many on it. It also describes another path. It says that the path is narrow that leads to life. There is a narrow gate and it says that few are on it and few is right because I see so many people just walking by not caring not even thinking about their eternal life and yet it is something that is so important so important to you your eternal life is even important to me and I don't even know you I have never seen you before in my life I may never see you again but your eternal life is important enough for me, for me to be out here, for us to be out here, preaching the gospel, telling people the way back to the Father. Because at the moment you do not have that people. And you do not know when you're going to die. It is so important. Hallelujah. You can turn that down a little bit. It's so important that you get this right in your life. This, I'm out here today for you. Anybody who does not know Jesus Christ as their personal saviour is walking around in an unsafe way. And people like to think about anything and everything other than something that is the most important thing for you. Tomorrow is not promised to any man. You do not know, you have no idea when you will pass from this earth. I defy anybody to tell me that they know with certainty when they will pass from this earth. You do not know. And if you do not know where you're going to be, when you pass from this earth, that is a very unsafe way to walk the face of this earth. When you look at how fragile life is, one breath, a heartbeat stops, you're gone. That's it. Oh, he's just fear-mongering this guy. He's just trying to scare us. I hope I do scare you enough into thinking about your eternal life. Because you can have it secured through Jesus Christ. He did something very special for every person who will believe. But not every person does. People scoff. They even spit at me. They do all sorts of things. And all I'm trying to do is get you to think about your eternal life. It's not a selfish thing, people. I get no money. Nothing for this. No brownie points, nothing. This is all about you and your eternal life. And it's all about him, God Almighty, and what he has done for you. The generous gift of his very own life given for an ungrateful, undeserving humankind, mankind, who walks around so puffed up in their pride thinking they can be their own saviour, that they don't need a saviour, that they're going to somehow pass from this earth, get up there and start negotiating with God. Hey God, look at me, I'm a human being. And God looks at you and he says, yes I know, there's eight billion of you down there. There's so many of you, multitudes, all sitting on the toilet every day. And yet, you're going to stand up and negotiate with your Creator. Come on, people. 
time to get real. Time to humble your heart. Bow your heart before your Creator. Receive with grace what He has done for you. It's for every person. People don't think they need it. Thinking about anything, everything, except that. That's why we're here, people, to prompt you, to ask you to consider your eternal life. This is for you. People say, don't care about me. All right, I could do that. I could walk away. But God loves you too much for that to happen. He cares for you too much to let you go without knowing him, without being safe in his hand. That's why we're here today, people. You have to do something. God will not force this on you. This is not an automatic thing that you make it to heaven, no. There's nothing automatic about it. It depends on you. He will draw you by his spirit. Certain people stop and listen, open their heart, receive Jesus. They are never the same again. Never the same again. Because the God of this universe, the one who created you, the one who gave you breath in your lungs, the one who gave you 127 million light cones in your eyes so you can see his creation, you can see all the different colors. Think about it, people. You think we came from apes? You think that picture where you see all the apes coming off their knees and following you around? Turn around, say, stop following me. I didn't come from evolution. I came from God Almighty. He created me. And he has made a way back to himself. I keep saying, you have to do something. This is about you and you have to do it. You have to take responsibility here. All I can do is share with you the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And many people run away from God. They're running. They're hiding from God. Afraid. I don't know why. He's an all-loving, all-merciful, all-forgiving God. There's nothing that you can do to exclude yourself from him except to choose to do so. He has his arms wide open to you. And he say, come to me. I will forgive your sin. I will wash it all away. And the Bible says, and you'll blot it out. As far as the east is from the west, that's where your sin will be. God does not remember your sin. He purposely forgets it. For he's a good God. He's a good father. He loves you more than your own father. Many of our own fathers have not loved us correctly. They've harmed us. They've done things. They've given us a wrong, a skewed perspective of God the Father because we take our cues from our own Father. Don't do that, people. God is not like our, our earthly fathers. He's a good and a loving God. He cares for you so much. Enough to give his very own life through his Son, Jesus Christ. This is the message of hope, people. This is the message for you today at Town Hall. God loves you so much, cares for you. You can walk by proud, not even thinking about it, and people do. And it breaks my heart that people don't consider how much God loves them, how much God cares for them. He wants you safe. He wants you saved. He desires it of you. But you have to do something. He will not force himself upon you. He loves you. He cares for you. And we're going to stop there now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're going to talk to people one on one. And people will be saved here today at Town Hall. In Jesus' name.